Happy Sunday, everybody, and welcome to December of 2020. I don't know about you, but I feel completely baffled by the fact that it's already the end of this year. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But we're gonna end strong as we enter into one of the most wonderful times of the year, Christmas time. And that is a wonderful time, partly due to the decorations, partly due to the nice cool weather, but mainly due to the fact that it is remembering the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which is really the whole reason for the season. And I hope you know that. So emojis have certainly brought life into lots of different conversations. Emojis have given people a whole new way to express themselves. And today, our lesson is focusing on the angel emoji. Isn't it cute? So, our emoji Christmas tale begins with the angel emoji, which is just the very start of the biblical story. The whole Christmas story begins with an angel who delivers a very important message to Mary. Now, I know a lot of you probably know the story, but repetition is good. So we're just gonna tell it one more time in a slightly different way. Let's go ahead and read about two special angel visits that happen in the book of Matthew and Luke. Guys, open up your Bibles. Luke chapter one, 26 through 38. Mary is one of our main characters in the Christmas story. God chose Mary to do a very important task, to be the mother of Jesus. So angel visit number one, here it is. God sent the angel named Gabriel to Nazareth. That was the town where Mary and Joseph lived. And he sent Gabriel to go and find and speak to Mary. The angel went to her and said, greetings to you, Mary. God thinks you are pretty awesome. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was kind of confused and a little troubled at what kind of greeting this might be. Cause she's like, you're an angel and you're talking to me. Okay, this is, this is new. The angel said to her, Mary, don't be afraid. Everything is fine. I just have a really important message for you from God because he has chosen you for a very special task. You will be with child and you will give birth to a son and you are to give your son the name of Jesus. See how the story is coming together now? And Mary still is just like, whoa, 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 whoa. How can this be? I'm not even married yet. How can I be having a child? And the angel answered, the Holy Spirit is gonna take care of that. He's gonna make it happen. It's gonna be magical. It's gonna be great. So Mary's like, oh, this is a lot of news, but okay. I am the Lord's servant. I will do what is asked of me. Good for you, Mary. You go, girl. We're gonna go to Joseph's side of things. So Joseph was engaged to Mary. They loved each other. They were excited to get married and plan their wedding. And then he found out that she was about to have a child. This confused him because they had not been married yet. So therefore, how was she about to have a child? He didn't understand. And Joseph was a righteous man, which means that he typically did the right thing and did things the right way and didn't really do things that were regarded as like breaking the rules. So open up to Matthew chapter one, 18 through 24 to see Joseph's side of things. Here's where we have angel number two. So Joseph heard about Mary that she was about to have this baby. He knew it wasn't his and he decided he would try to break off the engagement because he didn't want to be in trouble for marrying someone who had someone else's baby. However, after he was thinking about this, God was like, Oop, we better send an angel down to talk to Joseph because he doesn't really know what's going on. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. And he said, hey, Joseph, I know that there's some weird stuff going on. I know that you've heard about Mary and you're probably pretty confused, but trust me, this is the work of the Lord. Do not be afraid to marry Mary, Mary, Mary. Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. She is doing an amazing thing that the Lord has asked of her. Mary 
is gonna give birth to this baby boy, and you guys are gonna call him Jesus. You're gonna call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So when Joseph woke up, he's like, wow, that was a crazy dream, but I'm gonna listen to it and I'll keep my plans to marry Mary. <laughs> okay, so in the Bible, angels are messengers for God. Now, when an angel appears to people in the Bible, they're always really, really surprised, whether it's in person or in a dream, like it was for Joseph. They're always very surprised and they tend to be a little scared at first. Because guys, imagine if you saw an angel, whatever an angel might look like, whether it was glowing and sparkly or just someone who appeared out of nowhere, you'd probably be a little thrown off, like, huh. Who are you? Where'd you come from? Oh, you're an angel from God? Okay, cool, let's talk. The angel first visited Mary to let her know what her job was going to be. Then they visited Joseph to kind of clear up some confusion that could have potentially caused Joseph to leave Mary. The angel kicks off our emoji Christmas story with this big announcement. Jesus is coming, the Messiah is coming. He's gonna save everyone in the world for the rest of time, and he's gonna be your son. That news, I'm sure, was amazing for Mary and Joseph as the parents-to-be. But you know, it's also amazing to us many, many, many years later, right? Because if Jesus hadn't been born, forgiveness wouldn't be a thing, just like emojis used to not be a thing. Jesus being born, living a life, and dying for us is what makes forgiveness possible. And that's super, super, super important. Over the next three weeks, we are going to dig deeper into the Christmas story with the use of emojis. We're gonna talk about the shepherds, we're gonna talk about the wise men, and we're gonna talk about what Christmas really means for us. So guys, I know that a lot of people are not meeting in person still, but I encourage you to send this video to your friends or have your friends watch the video at the same time as you and help to spread the word of Jesus and the Christmas story to people that you know and love who might not have heard it. As always, if you have questions or concerns, have your parents email me, you can reach out. I would love to hear from you. And um, before we conclude this video completely, I have an angel craft demonstration for you. So stay tuned to watch our short angel craft video. Our craft for today's lesson is this cute little angel ornament. Here are the supplies that you're going to need. <laughs> Take two. Here are the supplies that you're going to need. Tape or glue, a pair of scissors, cupcake liners of any color that you choose, a pencil or a marker, and pipe cleaners. Okay. 